Wolfie, welcome back to more Wolfie guys. Today is an exciting fucking day. Never thought I would be doing this. I've been hinting at this for months, but smash the like button before we even begin. Not clickbait at all. I'm buying my fucking mom and my dad a dog. And technically my sister because she lives there as well. So let's hit 35,000 likes because today's gonna be a feel good video. Literally, I decided last night that I was gonna do this. But the problem is, and you guys know this was like the same problem with buying Prince and Wolfie Jr. There's nowhere to buy dogs like in Ottawa. Like a good designer type dog that stays small and shit like that. Very very hard to find one in Ottawa. There was none in Montreal and that's like a two hour drive from my house. They all happen to be in Toronto. So right now, we can't see the CN Tower but we are in the city of Toronto. I drove all night and it took me like freaking an hour and a half or like two hours to find a hotel. And let's even talk about that. We, we didn't even get a hotel guys. Look at what we, what we f***ing say did last night. All right guys, so I got a vlog on my phone because my camera is in the trunk of the car right now. Sylvia's passed out there. Me and Dustin have been looking for hotels for the past like hour, literally like been parking and parking lots and shit. I found a hostel. We're staying in a hostel. So, so not a hotel. Not a hotel. Not a hotel. I was looking at five star hotels, you ever four seen star. The movie hostel? Yes. It's a scare. It's like Saw. That's, That's bad. bad. It's bad. I've never stayed in a hostel in my life, guys, but right now we are on our way to one that can accommodate us. It has bunk beds. Uh, this is what we got to do for my parents to get the dog. I was about to sleep in the car, to be honest. Saying you can't even do a 3 a.m. hostel clickbait challenge. It's no. a 3 p.m. hostel it's a challenge. It's 9 a.m. already right now. <laughs> guys, I'm stressing out. Guys, this place is so I gotta be low key because I don't think we can film in here, but yo, they have earplugs out the front. It's only bunk beds. We need to give like a passport and government ID. This place is f I can't even talk. Like, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. I'm running out of hours of sleep. Guys, I should not be bringing this fing Louis Vuitton in here right now. Because everybody thinks it's big. Yeah, no, no, no. They're changed. Basically, the only place that could accommodate us for like a two hour nap because I needed a power nap just now, I literally woke up, I know I look like shit, was a hostel. Never been in a hostel before. Never going back to a hostel again, to be honest. Me and Dustin slept on bunk beds with six other n****s in the room. Charlie was on the top bunk. Yeah, why did he put me the f The guy on the bottom bunk, he wasn't there, but he would have been stressed. Yeah, he would have been. Oh, he would have been crushed. Sylvia literally had to sleep in a different room. I don't know, they wouldn't let the boys and the girls mix. For some weird reason, I know hostels can get weird at night. But right now, we are on our way to go see the first couple dogs. This time, we're going to do it right. This time, we are not going to go and get the first puppy we lay our eyes on this one's for my mom my sister and my dad so this one has to be like the perfect puppy for them so we just texted the girl we're showing up to her house right now might be a guy i don't know sylvia's contacting them i need cough let's Bro, go do you know the, do you know the like you gotta make it right this time you gotta do the you know like the the puppy secret secrets to buy yeah. a puppy like the one where you like you pick well, it up you pick and you put, it on, throw, and put it on and his back. throw it throw it yeah <laughs> What do you think if it's non-abusive? Yeah, we'll see. Well, like, abuse. yeah, we'll see. You if just throw it. If, it if it doesn't do anything, it responds. Then well, it's good. Then we're copying it. The thing is, guys, like really quickly with Prince, I'm not even gonna lie. The girl lied to us. Okay, he's not what I didn't she. Want to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. He's not a Morky. He's technically a Morky, but he's not really a fucking Morky. This. Chihuahua, I love him, but like he's not what she said he is. So you know when you get catfished, I think that what this whole fucking uh, business is about. Like they literally look up Google perfect puppy. It looks like a teddy bear, and then you see a rat in person. So I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm excited though. Let's go puppy hunting. Okay, guys. So the first puppy or puppies that we're gonna go check out, they're Pomskis. This is like my dream dog. Before we even got any dog, I wanted a Pomsky, but they were super hard to find. So we got something else. But basically, a Pomsky is like a Pomeranian mixed with a Husky. So it's like kind of like a mini husky that's fluffier because it has the same fur as a pomeranian uh they're super rare super hard to get 
but luckily we found one in Toronto. So, I mean, I, want, I just want to see what it looks like because if it looks anything like online, then I think my mom's going to be aged because she's been hinting at me getting a dog for her for time. Well, I've been hinting at it and she's been hinting at it. My dad doesn't want a dog. Dad, I'm sorry. Getting a fucking dog. Your mom is this is mainly for my mom and my sister. So you don't even need to look at it, which I know you're going to because you fucking love my dogs off. But let's go see this Palmski. I'm aged. All right, so this is Harold. This is the Pomsky. He's the cutest little guy I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. He's so cute. And he's making some noises. This is Maud. This is the girl. Come here. Come here. Sister. Good girl. Look at oh her. my god. Stop whining. Why are you whining? Come here. Run to me. Show them you're running. Show the camera you're running. Oh my god. He's not whining with you. He was whining with me. Because he knows. He's like, this is the man of the house. <laughs> Good boy. They're play fighting like Wolfie and Prince do. Good boys. This guy's I know. fur is so fluffy. So guys, as you can see, Harold is a little cutie. He's actually so adorable. We were thinking about it. I don't know if he is actually Pomsky. Like he literally looks like mad Pomeranian, like dark haired Pomeranian type. Right now, I think we're going to go to like this one store that should have a bunch of dogs. So it's like an all in one type. Sh I'm letting Dustin drive and Sylvia get in the front because I'm literally so tired. I never let people drive my car, but I am so tired to the point where I cannot be driving anymore. It's dangerous. So looks like we're headed back to Ottawa late tonight, but we got to get the perfect dog. Dog. I can't settle this time. I told you guys. Wow, my car is small in the back. I never wow, next one up is a miniature poodle. This guy's fucking adorable. So cute. Sylvia is jumping on my wave of liking miniature poodles. I'm gonna get this guy for myself, to be honest. Guys, what do you think? Miniature poodle? This might just become a bidding war on yeah. this dog right here. I think he's low key cuter than uh... that. <laughs> he might be cuter. He might get cuter. Hey, let me see his face. Oh my god. This is the little sister, and this is the brother, guys. It might be a last minute decision to call. I swear to God, I might get the dog for myself. Oh my God. You have three dogs. I literally might have to. Like, let my parents hold on to it for like a little, like a week till I'm back in LA. They're and then. No, I think they're cuter than Yorkies. The girl's a cutie, but the boy is my boy. Look at him, guys. He's my dog. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Let's see if he passes the boy test. I think he likes boys better than girls. <laughs> yeah, he likes the boys. And the girl likes the girl. Good girl. Run around, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jumpy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, run, run, run. Oh my god. That's a bye. That's a good bye. No hate to the first dog, guys, but I feel like these dogs are winning right now. You don't have a name yet, but come here. Oh, oh. oh it's melting my heart. What do you guys think? What do you think? Let's see them play together. Yeah. Good girl. Play with your sister. Look at him. He loves me. Oh, good sister. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. I like that girl the best. Nah, that boy's a G. Team boy in this one, guys. Me. All right, guys. So the biggest decision with getting Wolfie when we got him is we had to get him, but we had to take him away from his sister. But I'm thinking. Look, he's beefing her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the end goal is I want to have two dogs and I want my parents to have two dogs. Low key, Wolfie Jr. actually might like my parents or likes my mom more than he likes us. Oh my god. Okay, guys. The final decision has been made. Hardest decision of my life because I'm so impulsive. But essentially what we're planning on doing is because I can't ask my mom because I'm surprising her with the dog. If she can look after Wolfie Jr. for a while and all that. And like worst case, we might actually end up having three dogs when we want two dogs. And I'm okay. We're trying to undo my shoelace. Trying to undo my shoelace. He likes the Yeezys. And uh, my mom ultimately would probably want two dogs just knowing her. So we're going to buy the boy right now because I think my mom wants a boy. And then try and put the one on hold, the girl on hold for literally like a day. We're heading back to LA. Either tomorrow I might have to extend the trip a day or two on my end just because if my mom says, why didn't you get the girl too? Like, why didn't you get the brother and sister? I don't know. It's, it's all dependent. I can't even talk right now, guys. I'm stressed out. But hopefully my mom says she wants the girl too. Or we should should have got the girl so that I can come back tomorrow or fly back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Get the girl because I really want the girl. I really wanted the boy to start, but now I think honestly the boy's better for my mom. But let's see. Oh, that's the, that's the girl, right? Good girl. Yeah. That's the boy. This is you're going to have a new family tonight. Good boy. I don't want to separate him from his sister. Okay, yeah, relax. You're the brains behind this operation. I would have caught them both today. Look at this. You want to come? You want to come? Oh, you're a cutie. All right, buddy. Wait, let me show them let's both get of them you side ready. by side. Oh, yeah. Let's see them side by side. And they're both playful and cute. Good <laughs> girl. I want her for myself. He doesn't have a name, but no names first drink. We had to stop and get food and... I just realized, sadly, my dad works in Cornwall Monday night. So, do you know that, Sylvia? 
Remember? I just realized that I don't think we're gonna be able to surprise my dad. We're gonna have to FaceTime him. No, we gotta do it tonight. We gotta do it tonight. We'll FaceTime him. I gotta get my mom's answer tonight on the other dog because I wanna go back and get that dog. And by the way, guys, I think we're gonna go back and get that dog. <sighs> Good boy, you're a cutie. Good boy. Guys, quick, quick pit stop. I'm switching to drive now. We're an hour and a half out of Ottawa. We just emptied the pee pads. We're making sure this guy has a little food and drink before we get home to my mom. The plan is, literally, I want to, uh, and Dustin gave me this plan. I wanna have a box. I might need to go to the store and get a box real quick, but I wanna get a box and put him in the box with no roof or lid so he can breathe. And I wanna ring my mom's doorbell, the classic, and then see her reaction. And I'm just gonna try and get it on camera as natural as possible. She has no idea. My sister has no idea. I haven't messaged them all day. This is gonna be crazy, but an hour and a half left to drive. I'll update you guys when we get back in Ottawa. All right guys, worst case ever. I mean, you guys can see the lights going on right there. I guess I was speeding because I literally just wanted to get this new dog home. I got pulled over. I don't think I've been pulled over in years. Last time I got pulled over, I got let off the hook. So I'm just gonna be like cooperative and see what's going on. But <laughs> this trip has been held back. Oh my God, guys. Right, they cut you a bit of a deal on the ticket. Amazing. Pull over is I know, ticket. it's terrible. It's actually, you're getting close to the 50 mark. I know. You know what happens then, right? Yes. So I literally just got a new dog and this is an excuse, but I'm trying to surprise my mom for like a video okay and she's going to bed soon so like there's no excuse obviously but yeah it's not happening so. as far as the ticket goes um the options are on the back yeah just deal with it within 15 days how like much I said, is it i reduced it a bit it's 220 bucks okay if you want to fight it that's one of them but you'll be fighting the actual no, that's fine one. that's All good right? Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we're in the clear. Got a bit of a ticket, but yo, shout out to the officer because he didn't screw my life over, so we're good. Okay, so we are almost done. After the ticket, we just came to Walmart. We got some boxes, so this would be fun. Like, I want to actually surprise my mom and my sister, but I want to make it fun. So what we're thinking of doing is making two boxes, taping them up, putting bows on the first one. I'm going to ring the doorbell, get my mom to come outside. She's going to think it's a dog. Maybe I can even find like a stuffed dog toy or some shit. So she thinks it's a dog, and then I'm going to actually surprise her with a real dog. Dog, just to see a mix of emotion. So we're just gonna go grab bows and a fake dog if I can find it. So as you guys can see, actually you can't really see. Let me turn on my flashlight. Wait. So as you guys can see, we got one box with the pink ribbon on it. This one's gonna say you're over. This is the one we're gonna place as bait. And then just when my mom thinks she's actually over, she's gonna find the dog in this one. I'm gonna bring it up to her. She's texting us like crazy right now. It's mad late. It's like 11:30. She's trying to go to bed. So let's get the surprise going. boxes so they brought me a box good. but somebody <laughs> Dustin you scared the shit of me oh my god wait oh for shit's sakes no <laughs> uh oh open oh up. my that's exactly <laughs> open it up I said no damn open it up hi this is exactly what she Hi, what are you? Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. Charles. <laughs> Charles. I'm crying out loud. I told you I'm gonna get you a dog, Dad. Hi, you, you are don't listen. so soft. Look at so good. Little jail. One accident in the car. Oh my god. This is exactly. What task wanted? He him. looked exactly like the dog she wanted. I call him Benji. How is it that we're supposed to go anywhere now? You could call him it's whatever Tess's you want. Dog. I call him Benji. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. You're so cute. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Put him back in there. Tell Tess. I'm gonna, tell Tess to come I'm downstairs. Gonna, gonna, <laughs> Here, let's do the same trick on my sister. Round two? Round two. This is mainly for my sister. Run, Salvia. Box. 
What does it say? I'm old. <laughs> Wrong box. Open this box. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a boy. He's a boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. My heart <laughs> is pounding so hard. He's so soft. He's such a good oh boy. Oh my god. He literally is so potty soft. trained. He only peed on the pad in the car. The there is his food. He didn't cry. The most didn't obedient cry dog once. you've ever seen. And no. the crazy playful. Crazy no. playful. This is, is let me just say, fucking <laughs> amazing. Oh my god, exactly this is, like that. He's a I'm like shaking. It was a mission to get this, let's say. We left yeah, at yeah. 2 a.m. last night. Put it this way, we drove at 2 a.m. last night, we just got home. Stayed in the hostel. We got pulled over by the cops. We stayed in the hostel what? with like 20 so people. We stayed in the crazy. Hunted for dogs. I'm actually shaking. Harold wasn't the dog. Wait till you Harold see him play. You're Harold gonna cry when you see him play. <laughs> no, no, Harold wasn't the dog. This guy's way better. He's the best. You gotta think of a name for him. <laughs> you get pulled over. Yo, Dad, you get you get to see your new like, dog tomorrow. Already crying today. Shut the hell up. This is the perfect like, dog. Did he say that? All cried out, and I'm like, you come, holy sh. Name him whatever you want, but we think you should call him Benji. Benji. He's oh my God. With everybody. He doesn't whine, he just... And he's just a baby. <laughs> Honestly, what I think we should heart. do Benji. I think Benji's Benji is a great name. I he's feel like I agree poodle. with that name. He's I a red... Like I like a red Every time I call him Benji, he just looks so cute. He's so cute. So oh <laughs> my god. Oh Look my god. I think like him. And this is a success. This is Yeah, we're gonna need to get another dog too. This is the best. Yeah. Brother, I yeah, swear yeah, surprise. to God. Listen to this though. Oh my God. Check the dog over there. No. Oh my God. No, but, but, listen to me closely. We reserved it. We reserved another dog. He has a, sis he has a sister who's identical. I have videos. No, no, no. No, think about it. All I'm saying is you guys, can, you guys can take care of Wolfie Jr. for a bit. We'll take care of this dog. The new dog, the new dog, the sister. Literally well, I'll let you guys I take know. in this dog. Yeah, Why don't we go play with him inside? Let's go inside. What do you think about your new brother? You're stressed. <laughs> what, is, what is that smell? What is that smell? He literally did not have one accident in the car. Benji. Oh my god. Good boy. Benji, he actually is such a like Benji. An, it was like a... He's such right. a Benji. Alright, let's, let's show him that. Let's he blends in with the floor. Oh! Back the f up. Whoa, Lionel, relax. You think you can beef this new dog? Lionel, relax, bro. Good boy. Benji. Good boy. Benji, come here. Stop trying to work out, buddy. Stop trying to work out. Guys, yeah, he already ran the house. The cat's cut. Lionel, you're stressed. Less attention for you, buddy. Cleo, thank God you guys are individual, independent. And he's just running around. He owns the house. Yo, Dad, are you getting rid of this dog? Yeah, okay. <laughs> On that note, guys, the dog delivery was a success. Oh Everything goodness. was worth it. My mom's phone just died. My sister's happy. Mom, are you happy? Yes. Are you gonna take care of him? Of course. Don't feed him human food. No. You're already, you're already ignoring him. I, yeah. The cats can eat them up, so just Come on. get them. No, like, you just take some and put them in your We know how to do dogs now. <laughs> no. Hopefully this dog is right now that they know how to train him. I gave him all the tips. I'm gonna give her the food. He's gonna go on walks with dogs, socialize. He's gonna be the perfect dog. But I still want the girl dog, so I'm thinking about that. I gotta talk to my mom about that. But yo, I'm gonna end the vlog off there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, guys. Going back to LA soon, I'm excited for that. EDC is coming up, I'm excited for that. A lot of stuff. Uh, Sylvia, her mom, and Adam are coming up to LA, so I need ideas for that, so comment them down below. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I'm gonna get the whole world dogs at the rate I'm going, guys. This is just ridiculous. I'm exhausted. I'm about to pass out. I love you guys so much. Stay a little bit more savage on my main channel, and as always, stay savage. Let go.